So good afternoon everyone. I am Surjit Patro and I am going to present my today's presentation which is recent development of biomass torrefaction process and its challenges and my co-authors are Anurag Chakraborty and Amitabh Ghatak and we are from Department of Mechanical Engineering Techno India University Salt Lake. So uh, before starting the presentation these are the contents of my presentation some introduction about the um, biomass and the recent trend the classification of biomass torrefaction process principles the uh, several techniques are used for torrefaction process and the uh, main advancement which is done the past two and three decades um, in torrefaction process and the techniques and lastly the conclusion so here some introduction the supply and the traditional energy sources like coal crude oil natural gas are eventually run out so we need to think positive according to indian uh, energy outlook uh, 2021 due to the growth wage and living standard in india not only in india the global actually the current the third largest energy user in the world especially india is the third largest energy user since 21st century the energy demand is gradually increased and 80% uh, demand is still actually um, uh, completed by coal gas and uh, well so rest the 20% we have to think about uh, another process to meet the rest of the demand of the energy and reduce the environmental pollution in india the renewable energy sources such as torrefied biomass that is used in the industry as well as the domestic sector so first we think about what is the biomass the biomass is any kind of organic plant it may be element matter it can be a uh, actually um, carbohydrate and composite polymers some amount of inorganic matter low molecular weight extract from organic constituents so this is the classification of the plant biomass the plant biomass are classified mainly two for low mo molecular and uh, second one is macro molecular substance there are several uh, actually the uh, speculation there is organic matter inorganic matter lignin ash component cellulose and polycellulose actually i am running uh, time that's why i am talking my presentation and uh, the classification of biomass the biomass is mainly classified by two major sources that first uh, primary sources and secondary sources primary sources which is uh, the forestry the agricultural sector and from the forestry we can use the dedicated forestry forestry uh, product such wood willow blocks and the agriculture sector the agriculture residue which is uh, crop from oil sugar and agriculture residue and the secondary uh, sources that is industry and uh, industrial waste sources um, uh, that is industrial residue such solid waste waste from paper mill uh, some municipal waste now we think about the torrefaction process so why we need the torrefaction process what is the main uh, actually disadvantage of uh, um, raw biomass so raw biomass is a lower moisture content low calorific value poor grindability and uh, actually low bulk density so uh, to reduce this uh, properties to improve the um, uh, actually the calorific value grindability volatile content so we need to think about the torrefaction process so torrefaction process is the control process of combination actually biomass heated in the temperature range of 200 to 300 degrees centigrade in a oxygen free as a purely oxygen free environment or the low small amount of oxygen environment we can actually done our experiment to provide the non oxidizing exposed mere um, atmosphere uh, nitrogen is the most commonly used uh, actually the uh, gas <coughs> carrier gas we use the nitrogen uh, the thermal method which is below 200 are used for wood preservation while the higher temperature in the torrefaction method are used in for energy purpose in the addition to the temperature torrefaction time or duration is another important factor in determination of the performance of torrefaction torrefaction can be carried out the between the several minutes several hours it can be anything this process leads the moisture reduction and the main actually main um, uh, aspect or main um, uh, actually um, the focus is the transforming uh, transformation of biomass into the product of the uh, comparable which is comparable with coal <coughs> so this is the principle uh, actually the torrefaction principle uh, which is all uh, earlier described so untreated biomass uh, combustion technique uh, we can add the fuel or air it may depends on for uh, dry torrefaction or wet torrefaction in wet torrefaction we need uh, actually in uh, wet torrefaction we use some water or some uh, actually um, liquid element uh, then the combustion uh, start 
and after drying the atomic mm, reaction actually done at 200 to 300 degrees centigrade temperature with uh, actually addition of the nitrogen or may may we may, we may use uh, argon uh, actually non reactive gas and finally we get the toyfide biomass so this is the toyfaction technique so this figure indicates the change in biomass color and the chemical reaction that happens in the biomass at different temperature and the different thermal treatment process so we see the heating drying intermediate heating torrefaction and cooling the curve shows the each and every step so uh, uh, it describes the process of so the first considering the temperature zone that is called a non reactive zone that is 50 to 150 degree centigrade and that is the uh, second uh, one is the reactive zone that is 150 to 200 and the third one is the destructive Actually, 300, 200 to 300 degrees centigrade. The various biomass reaction in this temperature regime. Actually, three types of uh, regime temperature regimes are there: uh, dehydration and uh, devolatilization, and the third one is depolymerization. <coughs> so, in these three steps, actually, torrefaction uh, happens and torrefaction is uh, done. This change depend on the temperature and the resident time, heating time, biomass type, and the different properties of Biomass. Now this so is the classification. This is a written article, right? Yeah. So please yeah, yeah, this is uh, in the future. Oh, okay. 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 So the, this is the classification of the products. The some uh, some research are ultra uh, done in ultra mild condition. Some are done in moderate condition, and some are done high condition, and they get the different values. so i am skipping this slide actually so this is the main uh, actually uh, things in my uh, presentation the what is the material and what are the methods and what are the actually uh, material the uh, raw uh, gas biomass pitula pine wood sawdust rice sugar cane these are the actually um, main material and crops that is left over crops that is uh, straw sugar cane biogases and some waste feed stock such as the crude waste and some municipal waste and the average size actually the um, uh, we use that is 20 mm and 6 mm diameter and the force applied is 4 uh, 4000 to 5000 kN and the holding time is 45 so uh, and this is these are the properties of the raw biomass uh, actually sorry torrefied biomass the proximate alternances heating valences and grindability these are the result of the uh, different research are done there research uh, the proximate and ultimate analysis these are the ultimate analysis data and these are the um, proximate analysis data which is active in different journal different reputation journal and this is the heating value analysis we can see and uh, this is the grindability index uh, actually i have to explain this side because this is a very uh, actually in, uh, important in, uh, property actually so okay, grindability so improvement Okay. Okay. Summarize. So these are the uh, conclusion of my presentation. Biomass actually, biomass is recognized the worldwide the resource like fossil fuel. So there are huge limitations such as low bulk density, low energy density. To overcome this limitation, we increase uh, actually um, property uh, such as energy density and hygroscopic uh, nature. So we use the torrefaction process and different temperature, different time range, different holding time. so with that we can actually get a good result so uh, this is the reference to okay thank you